It's showtime. Hello, I'm back. I said I would never do that again, but apparently I contradicted myself. Whoops! <laughs> hey, everybody, it's the D Rock 100, and welcome back to more of Pokemon Shining Pearl. Last time, we started the post game, and we made a quick trip to the battle zone. And unfortunately, I kept getting outwitted against Yuxi, but. I was able to outwit it one time, and it's mine. This time, we're back here at the... What is the name of the place again? Battle Lakefront. Duh. And let's head inside. If you recall from before when we were here last, this place was pretty much blown to tiny little itty bitty piggy bits. But... No more! The place apparently regenerated itself. Oh god. It all makes sense. This whole place has essence of Wolverine! Logan, you son of a bitch! Okay, okay, okay. I'm just being stupid. I believe. First time I have to use this. I'm Leave. There was a hidden item nearby. You're on the other side, aren't you? You're also a hidden item. Oh, here it is. TM25 Thunder! Alright. So, now that I have finally gotten that taken care of, time to do for what we came here to do. The Valor Cavern. Check it out. Like with any legendary, I highly recommend that you save. I'm going to do just that. Be right back. A member of the, the late Guardian Trio was created to act as a matter to help bind time and space. They say that this particular being is said to be the bringer of all willpower, given a strength, courage, and uh, true strength to press on. They say that this is one of the most powerful psychic types that you will ever find. And for that, I say... You damn right it is! Azel is the bane of willpower! And this is probably the best, um, um, greatest mixed attacker that you will find. I can't talk about the one, but you know how it is. Yay! <laughs> I hate my life. Level 50! Psychic type! Levitate for the ability! Imprison! Extrasensory! Nasty plot! And psychic! If you couldn't tell, Extra Sentry, Psychic, combined with a Nasty Plot, is going to hurt. If you have a Dark type, this thing could do absolutely nothing to you. Bringing it down to how this is as a Pokemon. Like I said, it is one of the best mixed sweepers that you will find. 
In fact, this is even capable of learning explosion through leveling up. What? Unfortunately, this is another case of a... If it's a swing and a miss, this ain't gonna last. Like, you haven't heard that one from me before. Basically, I mean, it's with base 70 defense and special defense. I consider this to not only be the strongest, but also the weakest. Because it's a little bit on the frail side. That does not mean that it's worthless, though. It's fast, and it's good, and it knows how, how to get the job done. Plus, with some of the moves in that it learns, Compliment hints at it for being a really decent mixed attacker. Pretty much anything that you give this thing is going to hurt. Similar to that with the Chimchar line and even the Torchic line. Except they converted it into a Psychic type Legendary. All in all, Azov is great, but it definitely comes with some major drawbacks. Okay, let's see if I can have some better luck this time. Who would have saw that one coming? I sure did. I started off with Rain Dish because. Oh, excuse me, Rain Bell. Wait, what just happened? I don't know. But anyway, like I was saying, I started off with Rain Bell because it quad resets it. All the moves in that it has. So, uh. I'm also gonna try to wither this thing down as best I can. And ooh, that actually works out very nicely. I'll take it. Hey! The quick glow actually comes into my favor this time! Yeah! Nasty plot! Like, I'm afraid of that! <laughs> Okay, you all know the routine. Let's start chucking them balls at it. Okay, fine. I could do the same thing as what I did to Azov in my Platinum LP, I think. Where I was kind of talking it down and making it be annoyed to death, but... Okay, to be fair, I wanted him to try to catch it into something that's kind of stupid. But yeah, with that nasty plant, same tower time bonus, and even though that I quite resist it, it's that good. One. Well, I guess it matches your colors. It suits you to a T. Alright, so I'm gonna need to plan this one out carefully. Especially since that it's gonna be challenging from this point on. One. Two. Okay. Uh, not quite sure of where you're going with that one, but. Ugh. Ah, there goes some of my special defense. Uh, let's go for a heal ball. Cause you are pretty wounded. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. Sure. Might as well go for broke. Okay, when I he said broke, I didn't mean him like that. And now my psychic type move is practically useless. Extra sensory to be more precise. Oh, come on! What is it with dust balls just practically being useless in caverns like this? I mean, it's practically close to nighttime. And we're even in a cave! You'd think that would help in some way. One. Two. There's the three! Yes! Okay! That actually went by quicker than I anticipated. Don't know why it got so loud on that one point, but then again, I'm all alone. <laughs> okay. But in all seriousness, this fight actually lasted a lot quicker than I thought. In fact, I even considered Azov to be the, the hardest one to catch. But the next one... That's gonna be another story. And that story's gonna be... Right now. We're gonna swing by our house, have my mother make us a delicious sandwich. 
And then we head off for our bearded lakefront. Ooh, excuse me. I, I actually had a pretty decently sized at dinner myself, and it kind of came up a little bit. And no, guys, I'm not meaning like that. It was just a belch. Of course, I would never do a loud one for you guys, because that'd be gross. Who do you think I am, Nintendo Capri Sun? Nah. He's too nice. Now, I actually have to say, I kind of like the guy. I wish I could meet him. Okay. Now for this one. I would like to switch to... You. Coming in here to the Verity Cavern. Check it out. Dawn, that was Mesprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I asked you to do at the Canada the Library. I asked you to get data on the Pokemon of the Lake, and you did. But it didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only depended on the deep in the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, that adds to my enjoyment. Dawn, why don't you chase after Mesprit? To me, it seemed as if it wanted to play with you. If you were making the marking map on your Pokecatch, you'll be able to track their move moves of the Pokemon. Go on, Dawn. I'm sure that you will keep meeting countless Pokemon and people. Those encounters will keep thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you'll enjoy that experience. Take care, Dawn. Oh, I'll be seeing you in a little bit. So, um, about that. We now have Mesbret seen on our Pokedex. And if you take a look at the map, you see that little thing that's kind of blinking that looks like it's next to Hearthome City? Well, that is something in that... I guess is it a returning thing? We now have a wandering Pokemon. This is one of the two wandering Pokemon that you will be seeing throughout the game. And, oh wow, you're closer than I thought. What I like to do. If you come onto the, to this particular route. We can actually make this Pokemon appear every now and then. Okay. Okay, I have an idea. I don't recommend that you fly head towards the nearest uh, just right for where it's hiding at. Because as you can see, it'll go anywhere. And if I could just get you to come back over here. If I could just do that, that'd be great. Meshmith is a bit annoying enough for when, it, when that happens. But if he just keeps him moving around too much, then... I guess you can always just fly towards another town up where you can get easy access to other routes from either north, south, east, and or west. Oh. Speak of the devil. Yeah, well, why don't you come over here? If you could come in to the north of me. Here at no. Come on. No, 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 no. No. Well, now you're just gonna be naughty. I know that you're the bean of emotions and all that, but come on. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. I know I probably shouldn't say that to the to the guy, but or rather the thing, but Like I said, this is an annoying Pokemon to go after, especially if you're going after some roaming legendaries. Okay, let's see if I can maybe try bringing it down here. I think it'll count. 
Nope. I should take this time to point out that... After too many encounters in the wild, it will eventually relocate. And I'm hoping that that will not be the case. Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on! What did I ever do to you? I just... I want to play! Let's play together. What do I do best? Because that's me. Hey, you're in the area! Okay. Another being that it has sent him to help out her to avoid the bindings of time and space. It is said to be the bringer of emotions. Give, making us laugh, making us cry, making us angry. It even makes us confused. I did not have been here for this matter. We would not to be able to be full of joy, full of sorrow, full of anything. However... If you don't want him to feel true annoyance, chasing after those Pokemon will give you just that, and it just makes you want to scream! Mesbrick is the bane of emotion and the more balanced out member of the group, and aren't quite possibly the worst, in my opinion. Level 50, Psychic type, Levitate for the ability! Imprison, Extra Century, Charm, Psychic. Miss Brent, I'm sorry, but I know you're charming, hence the move that you have, but you're probably a little bit too balanced, and I know they have base 105 and a majority of your stats, but you just don't really stand out well in terms of fighting. The only thing that you're ever really good for is just being cute. I know I'm giving you a pretty bad review, but... It's hard to recommend this Pokemon since it's so hard to catch, and unless you have a move like Mean Look or Spider Web to prevent it from fleeing, or have an ability called Arena Trap which prevents the Pokemon from fleeing at all, you're gonna be here a while. Catching this Pokemon is not easy. I don't recommend the Master Ball, but I still recommend it as a last resort. Master Ball is great, you technically don't really need to catch it to complete the Pokedex, but if you can, Go for it, it's right there, or rather everywhere, but have fun. Okay. I have my doubts, and I don't think this is gonna work. Let's try it. Yep, and unfortunately, it flees. Am I gonna go after this Pokemon? I ain't a questionable. But I might deal with this maybe at a later time. But that was pretty much the only main objective that I want to do. Go after the rest of the Lake Guardian Trios. You've seen 150 Pokemon. Bravo, Dawn. You've recorded all the Pokemon in Sinnoh in your Pokedex. This will help immeasurably with my studies on Pokemon Evolution. Greetings, Professor Rowan! It's been a very long time! I'll tell you, Sinnoh certainly is a long trip from Kanto. Of course, if it means meeting new Pokemon, there's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh, if it isn't my old colleague, Professor Oak. I should have expected as much from the world's authority on Pokemon. He always used to joke, where is there a Pokemon, you'll find Oak. It's good to see that hasn't changed in one bit. Professor Oak, let me introduce you to my young assistant. This youngster has filled up every page of the Sinnoh Pokedex for me. Ah, well, very glad to meet you. As you've heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you from Professor Rowan lately. He's been ex... 
What is it with some of these trainers that are using like $10 words? Being praised about a fantastic young trainer. I see that you live up to... No, that you surpassed his praise. You've also got an impeccable sense of timing. You see, I had an errand to run for Professor Rowan on my visit here. He asked me to bring the data for the National Pokedex. So, since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. After all, there are many kinds of Pokemon in this world of ours. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex, however. I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. <laughs> Not! Have no fear. Don't get the job done. By the way, Professor Oak, what compelled you to visit this region? Ah, uh, yes. I heard that her Ramanus Park is now open. If I remember correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. Ramanus Park has a special system that attracts in every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. Come to make certain that system is operating properly. Don, you should make an effort to visit Ramanus Park, too. Oops, I'll be late for my meeting if I don't get going. Okay, it was a pleasure seeing the both of you. Bye now! Off he goes, as busy as ever. Now, Dawn, I have a gift to hear as your reward for completing the Sinnoh Pokedex. That's the Pokemon Radar, or just Poke Radar for short. Use it, and it will indicate grass patches uh, where Pokemon are lurking. I prepared that to help my field assistants and put together the Sinnoh Pokedex. But you took care of that. I'm sure it will be useful on your goal of filling the National Pokedex. So, now that we finally got the National Pokedex, we got a lot more things that are now accessible. Hi there, it's been a while. I, when I heard that you defeated the Elite Four and entered the Hall of Fame, I rushed straight here to congratulate you. I mean it. Great job! All the gym leaders are really happy for you, too. But you know, we gym leaders aren't going to take this line down. Losing to you only rough us all up. Yet we still have our pride as Sinnoh's at eight gym leaders. Now, we're all determined to beat you this time. So if you don't mind, could you give us all another chance at the Pokemon battle? We should be waiting here for you at our own gyms. You know where to find me, or we're gym. As I was saying, we have some things that are not accessible to us. But before we do so, let's go talk to the kid's sister. Oh, hi, Dawn. There's a news on TV saying there's a massive outbreak of Pokemon. It'd be great for filling up your Pokedex. You're dumb. Route 215 says that there's a whole bunch of drowsy there. Don't you have to hurry. I want you to do better than my brother Lucas. Well, he's just gonna be standing there for the duration of the game. So, we now have access to. What are we thinking of? Um, outbreaks. These are special phenomenons, and that certain Pokemon that you normally wouldn't find in the wild will start coming running to you. Worry about it too much though. They're just there to help out with the Pokedex in, in a way, but let's face it. Before we do anything else, I would like to register this right here, right now. I would like to give you a bit of a demonstration on how the Poke Radar works. These are rustling grasses indicates certain Pokemon that we can find. What really makes them stand out is the fact that they could have different natures, they could have different abilities. But, after multiple encounters of the same Pokemon in terms of defeating them or catching them, you could potentially find one that is a shiny. <laughs> one experience. 
I should probably point this out that if you encounter any other random Pokemon that's not in those grasses, then it will break the chain. I'm not going to show off the entirety of it, but it's definitely something that might be worth mentioning. But I guess the ones with the bigger rustlings, I think those might actually have something a little bit more interesting. In fact, let me give you a little demonstration. Assuming if I can actually catch it. Oh, I'm sure I'll catch it just fine. One, two, three, done. Okay. So let's take a look at the summary. Yeah, sometimes a Pokemon has to, these encounters can have a nature that'll give it a neutral nature, which is a very heavy well plus. Beats anything. Wow, that's a good one. Let's run away for the ability, which we don't need, but. But yeah, at some point it will break, so. Don't beat yourself up on the matter. So for our final subject, I now want to head south from here. We could have done this long ago, but I was saving it till now for us to go this way. Because there was nothing for us that we could really do at this point. But given what's going on, now's a good time to change our mind on that. We got a free antidote. I'll take that. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Don't look at me. Okay. In this patch of water right here on Route 220, there is no new wild Pokemon that we can find. In fact, these trainers here aren't really much of interest in for us anymore, but I guess they're there. I'm right here. Splash Plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. We've been getting some very interesting lures with these plates, like I said from before. There is, however, one, maybe a few kind of plates that we haven't seen yet. And one of them is at Hedgey at at the location near the battle zone. And the only way I get to it, yep, is by getting the national Pokedex and. Do what you need to do, and we're guaranteed to battle one of you guys, aren't we? Can you look the other way, please? Thank you. Yep. All right, all right, all right, all right. You're technically required. I'll give you the time to shine. Let me guess, you have a tentacle on you? Gyarados. Also, why are you hitting your head like a volleyball? You, you do realize that this isn't water for a volleyball, right? Not that I don't have a mind on water volleyball, mind you, it's just... You're disturbing the vibes of the Pokemon that's inside the ball. And, you know what? While we're on the subject of that, there's something that I really do want to talk about. Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they did a good idea of having the trainers having different kind of balls uh, for the Pokemon that they have, like... Certain in trainer class, and it could have um, dive balls. Ace trainers that can have ultra balls. Um, bosses that could have a random kind of ball, and all kinds of things like that. I just wish that they would do this more often ever since then, but unfortunately, it just hasn't been kind of withered away pretty much after Generation 7. And that really irks me. Appearance sense. I think I made a joke about this one. It, it, it helps to keep Wild Pokemon away if the holder is, is in the head of the party. So basically, a holding continuing repel? I don't know. 
Um, anyway, Route 221. Sorry, right. today's number is 979. Show me a Pokemon that's level 79 if you can't, I'll reward you. Show me a Pokemon that's level 79! You are a brilliant ass! So, as I was saying, Route 221 has one new Pokemon that we can find. Aside from a tiny mushroom, this guy's already been a crackhead. <laughs> Let's just get into it. This Pokemon's only found in Brilliant Diamond. Skunk Tank. I don't really need to say much about this. This is the evolution of Skunky. You probably already have one at this point. But... I should probably bring this up with that stench ability that it has. It's great! I want to take a moment to talk about, about how very interesting Skunk Tank, Skunk Tank is at this point. Since you already probably have reached it at its maximum potential. This thing will learn probably one of the craziest movesets that you will have. It can shoot flamethrower out of its butt. Sludge Bomb for great time, time coverage. Uh, let's see. Heck, for whatever reason, I don't know why this is, but it's capable of learning explosion. What? When I first found out about this, I immediately thought that the gas inside it was methane. Oh my god. It all makes sense now. It shoots flamethrower out of its butt. We burn methane. It's explosive. And it can learn explosion. Oh my god. What the hell is wrong with these people? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, For someone who's used this gunk tank before in the past, it was great back then. It's great now. If you already have a Stunky, you have one at this point. If you haven't catch one already, do so. It's great. Nothing to be said. Goodbye. Oh, right. I should probably point out that it has only one weakness into your ground. And you may want him to consider having some good type coverage against that. Okay. <clears throat> now that I'm done rambling... I just had to bring out how great Skunk Tank really was. And, oh, Ultra Ball! Well, I guess it makes up for one of the balls that I lost from before. Uh, Lepa Berries. This has been a berry version of an Ether. Always nice to have. Mega Berries. And what are you? Hondu Berries. Hondu Anaka? Team 81 Exazerd, a physically offensive bug time move that has a high critical hit ratio. I love it. And you are required not to pass! <sighs> Fine. I guess if you're that much of important, Jake, I will take upon your offer and pretty much turn your brain into mush. Already yet. Of Rainbow do that for us. <laughs> Why am I sounding so violent today in this episode? Okay, to be fair, like I said, I'm home alone. <laughs> no, not like the camera home alone. I... You survived... I don't... Whoa! What? Uh... Note to self, don't use Gyro Ball on Staravia. Unless you want to get endeavored to death. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pretend that that never happened. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm already damaged as it is. Go on up. Boom. All right. Illuminous level 71. Very, very good. I'll take that. All right, Jake. How's that brain hand of yours since it's now been turned to mush? About as good as I thought probably that text was. <laughs> okay. Ah, done! This is it, the Raminus Park. This place has a special connection with regions around the world such as Kanto and Hoenn. It's also connected to the Grand Underground. Exploring down there might reveal new treasures. New discoveries that lead to interesting encounters. Remember that! 
It's good to see you've come to join us for a visit. Let me make a gift of this chain counter for your Poketch. This tracks your Poke radar performances. I plan to be in Eternal City for some time. Being here, I should make the best of my time studying the Pokemon of the Sinnoh region. So, um, the Ramdas Park has something new for us. This used to be the Pal Park, I believe it was, from the original Diamond Pearl Platinum for transferring Pokemon from uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fireland, and Leaf Green. But that's been shown forever. It's completely done. Sort of. Well, anyway, I guess now that we're done with that, Next time, we head back to the battle zone, and we go back underground, maybe not for the last and final time, well, that's a contradiction on my end, <laughs> but Oak said that there's something new down there that might be worth exploring now, since we have gotten the National Dex and we have the Remnus Park now open. What could it mean? We'll find out later, because next time, we go to the Grand Underground and the Northeast section. We have one last section to cover. See you guys then.